The sharp divisions in Uganda's largest opposition political party, the Forum for Democratic Change, can be traced to the contest between Budadli West MP Nathan Nandale Mafabi and Major General Mugisha Muntu for the party presidents in November 2012. Dr. Kiza BCJ had cut short his second term by two years. However, things seem to have gotten worse in 2017 when Patrick Amliat defeated Muntu. Some members claimed that BCJ supported Amliat, yet as an elder, he should not have openly shown sides in the internal contest. Amliat supporters accused Muntu of weakening the party. Makere University Stridon, Ndebesa Mambusha, urges that Muntu and others have made a rash decision to leave FDC. I think Muntu should have remained in the, the political mobilization arena space and organize kind of a, some kind of, so, of a movement, the likes of the Chagurani people movement, power. people power, until such a time when he would feel strong enough to now go organizational. He believes that the move is an indication of a country in a political crisis. There is no clear future. There is no certainty of our political future. Michael Lodon, Dr. Kakungur Mayambara, says Muntu Group will now have the opportunity to test the waters with their views of change, something they could not while in FDC. It's anticipated that now in the, uh, the new political party or the force he will be doing, he will be able to build uh, strong party structures, whatever, whichever party is going to form. And he, there is a likelihood of him coming out uh, stronger as uh, a likely third or fourth political force alongside the NRM and the FDC. However, Dr. Mayambala and Yusuf Serunkuma, a researcher at Makere University, warned Muntu Group that they will face the same challenges FDC and other opposition parties face. Because we have a guy who is staying in office as a sole individual for how many years? 33 years now. Opposition also had to craft somebody who will challenge the individual. Now in the process, an idea of building structures, whoever believes in that, doesn't belong to the present. He belongs to the future. In fact, historians would write and say, Amuntu's problem is living in our time. His time is yet to come. The key factor would be how much, how many people and how many supporters can the opposition get at this critical moment. We are approaching 2019, 2020. Can they get us to counter the support of the NRM? What the, those of us who are remaining, and let me make that very clear, those of us who are remaining in FDC, we have a duty to fill the gap, not only of him, but of other members who are either no longer active, who have retired, who have left. You've been part of the team of Misha Muntu who campaigned for him. People would have expected to, you are living with, with him. I joined the FDC on conviction and I'll live, and I'll stay in FDC because of that conviction. At the moment, I think the FDC remains the most viable vehicle to bring change in Uganda. In any disagreement, there are groups or individuals who benefit. And according to political analysts, they believe that in the FDC disagreements, there are groups or individuals who may benefit. The beneficiaries are many. I mean, I, I would say two, two key beneficiaries. One uh, would be Honorable Bobby Wine, that at a time when he's coming on the political scene, there is a group of formidable politicians who have been in the field for long. <laughs> FDC party spokesperson Samujunganda, who led the Muntu campaign for the party presidency, believe that FDC is bigger than any person. Samuju is also the opposition chief whip, calls for reconciliation in the party. What we should concentrate on is the focus on the struggle, on the bigger struggle to free ourselves. We should not be involved in primary quarrels with ourselves because Muntu is still part of us because he only wants to maybe to find another vehicle, to find another vehicle and continue with the struggle. We cannot waste all our time focusing on what is of concern. We must focus on what we can influence. And what can we influence is working together, as simple as that. On Thursday, General Mugisha Muntu is expected to address the media and explain why he left the party and also give his detailed plan. It's not clear whether Tim Muntu will form a new political party. Ivan Chumchigozi, NTV.